Lee County commissioners listened closely as residents voiced their concerns on bringing a group home into their neighborhood. I've had the opportunity of living in a neighborhood with mentally challenged people, with caregivers, and things did not work out so well. Homeowner Peggy Bass says in that situation, there were times when patients would roam the streets unsupervised. If they come to my house and they knocked on the door and they wanted something to eat, they can be abusive to me, they can hit me, but I cannot do anything to them. I cannot touch them or I will be in violation of the law because they have more rights than we do. Bass says she would not only fear for her safety, but the safety of the clients staying in the group home. That would be a dangerous situation for them. The high traffic volume isn't the only concern for residents. They say the group home will house six people under a 320 square foot roof. For six people, it's only got three bedrooms. So six people would have to be two patients per bedroom, and then where are the 24-hour caregivers going to stay? During the commission meeting, board members denied the request that would allow the personal care home to be placed on Lido Road.